Okay, I'm at Bergen Field. Um, this bag is all that I bought today. There aren't a lot of vendors here today, um, and the only stuff I bought was stuff that I didn't buy yesterday. Um, today it was cheaper. It's not really anything special, but it was only $11 for everything. Um, here's what I got. I got a PS1 Soviet Strike. Uh, yeah, that's in there. Most of these games are pretty clean. Um, here's a uh, Top Gun. I don't even know if it's in here. It's not even complete, really. No, and the game's not even in there, so this is kind of junk, really. Um, this is the stuff that's very hard to sell. Um, NFL game day in the long box. I don't know if these long boxes are worth more than regular boxes, but this isn't really a good game in terms of collect. As far as I know, I mean, unless they jump to value, I don't think anybody's really collecting that game. I got um, Vander Holyfield boxing, Sega Genesis, and um, there's no game, but this is actually probably an easy game to find to uh, to put in the case, uh, and then you'll have a complete case. Actually, probably my friend. Well, you know who you are. Um, you might have this game floating around, and if you want, if you have it, I'll give you the box for it. Um, this might be the same deal with this NHL hockey. Empty case. Oh, and here's some some Don Russ car hockey cards. Probably not worth very much. All right. As you can see, there's really not anything exciting here. That's why it wasn't expensive. Um, these are the kind of games that I will put. I'll basically give them away when someone buys a, a PlayStation 1 off me. Or, I, or I'll give them to my... Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to give you most of these, um, my friend. And you can sell them. I'm not doing so bad. You know? As part of the... Yeah, that's part of... Uh, this one, my friend. These? Well, C oh, these aren't CDs. Uh, and it depends on the CDs. Some CDs are worth more than others. Some CDs nobody buys. Um, show me what you have and I'll help you, okay? I'll give you advice. I, I, I sell mine for like, I try and get $4 or $3 or something like that. Um, depending on what they are, you know? So, just show me, I'll, I'll help you out. You're welcome. Um, here's an R4 Ridge Racer type. This is a, um, a Xerox. This is bootleg. This is totally bootleg. Uh, Red race. You know what? I'll just give this to my friend. Maybe, maybe there's something to this. Don't know, but it looks super bootleg. It's a Japanese game. Um, uh, NHA Power Play '98. I, I really don't know if any of these games have much value. You know, maybe there's a chance if I give my friend again. You know who you are. A bunch of hockey games. You could lot them and sell them that way. Here's a hockey game for um, Sega Genesis. That's not it. All right. Um, WCW Nitro, probably like a four-dollar game or something. It's in it. Yeah, it's in there. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, F1 2000. Very difficult, not valuable game. Hard to sell. Very little value. Madden '98. I, I don't even. It's in there. Oh, and it's missing the back. Um, NHA Power Play '96. Something I'm going to be sitting on. Yeah, the old school Atari. Yeah. Um, VR Baseball 97. I, I, I guess if you're a PlayStation 1 person, you're probably like not excited at all with the selection so far. Um, here's a TNN Motorsport Hardcore Beat. And this is a Sega, it says. Let's see if there's anything in there. Yeah, there's nothing in there. So it's actually just a cover, which... Uh, you know. See, this is why I like stuff like this. There's probably a couple of games in here um, like that I might be able to sell. But the other thing is, it's just, it's table filler. Um, just nice stuff. I don't know, it's not even nice. Uh, Andretti Racing. I mean, I actually looked at some of the discs, and the one good thing is at least the discs are clean. You know? And, and if you're waiting for me to pull out something amazing and go like, oh, I didn't know this was in here, it's not going to happen. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Triple Play 98. It's in there. NHL 98. In there. What is that? Here's a half a case. Yeah, something healthy. Uh, Madden 98. <laughs>
Uh, triple play 98. Uh, knockout Kings. What's the matter? Knockout Kings. I'm, just, I'm making a video of the, all the stupid videos I got today. It, it would have been nice if you got that big lot of games today. They would make a whole bunch of nice videos. But you don't make videos like this, right? You may, if you make videos sometimes, you can get YouTube people that, um, that about when we start talking about the convention, start doing videos then, you know? Like, because, uh, oh, in the future, um, we're going to be doing, the company I work for, uh, the company I work, the company I sell at, Flea Marts I sell at, they, um, they're going to be doing a, a video game convention, and it should happen this coming summer of 2017, and I'll fill you in as it goes along. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff there when it happens. This is probably the most interesting and valuable game that I have got today. And it's a Japanese import, the King of Boxing. I'm sure this one, because it's a Japanese import, might be worth 10 bucks. Or I don't really know. But that's it. Uh, $11, that's all I bought here today. There really wasn't much for me to buy uh, for resale. And I'll show my space after this video. And here's the other thing I got today. This was actually, uh, someone came and they wanted to uh, sell this to me. And uh, I, I checked it on price, and it's worth about, like, maybe $12 on Amazon. Like, full, full retail would be 12 So I said I'd give them, like, 5 and I'd probably sell it for, like, 8 9 or 10 something like that. Um, but they said, well, can I trade it with you? I was like, yeah, sure. So uh, he wound up picking uh, two games total, $15 in value. So I traded probably, uh, I said $5, and then, and then this. So actually, his were 16 I probably would have sold the two games for 12 so if I sell this for eight and five, I'm like 13. So it's pretty much a fair trade for me. But that's the only thing I, I, else I got today. Okay, I'm at Bergenfield High School today. Uh, this is a back view of my space. I'm just going to show my space real quick. Um, oh, my wife set up a, a nice shelf and put some more jewelry in there. But here I go. Let's see. Okay. So my wife actually has more jewelry out than she always, uh, than she often does have. Um, she put this table with. Um, just a lot of long and silver chains. Uh, there's a rack with three uh, shelves on it. She uses that lately. Uh, here's her cases. And you can see her stuff. There's that bronze. Probably nobody's going to buy it from me. I'm going to put that online tonight. Uh, here's some of her trays. Here's uh, There is some 64 in there. Like... Uh, in this area. Do you have any GameCube games? Yeah, a few. You know what I did? I was looking for something, so I made a mess. We still love and appreciate our GameCube. Okay, the GameCubes were probably. Uh, maybe I have some over there. And then I might have another box. I'll see if I can find it real quick for you. Um, the jewelry. Here's my. Here's my. My games. I didn't have a lot. No, you're fine. I didn't have a lot of room today, so I only put out. Um, I. I like to talk about. How I set up, it helps me out in a, in a few. Right. I didn't put out a lot of games. Uh, the space is smaller, tighter here, so I just have my more expensive games. Uh, I put out some cassettes. I only have those three consoles today. Here's my CDs. I actually put a lot of CDs up and probably, it looks like 10 trays. Um, they actually gave me the tables here, and I wound up with one, I think I wound up with like one, two, three, four, five, six tables that they gave me for this space. I sold some action figure stuff today. Here's the wrestlers I bought yesterday. I sold a few of these. Here's some nonsense. Here's my Star Wars and my Hot Wheels. I sold a few Hot Wheels. Um, anyway, that's my space.